Um, I really like studying business because we learn about different businesses within the context of what we're learning. So when I, when we were doing uh, marketing, we would follow Apple and see what they were doing. And then when we were doing packaging, we would look at more close brands to our community. So we were looking at Chococo and Swanage. And it was just really good to see how things worked within the society that we were in rather than just like a concept. Um, there's a lot of essay writing, but we also learn about it in context and we make small businesses and practice things in groups. I think the biggest thing with particularly business here, like my name is Skill Patrick, will always go one step beyond what we have to know. So he'll be mm. like, we'll, we'll learn a bit extra than what's just on the syllabus. So if we're, we'll learn about, say, like a business and then we'll learn so much about the business that then when you come to write your essay questions, you actually know more about that market and that area of business mm. than you have to, which I think gives you an advantage and when you come to like exams and that. I think that's great. Yeah, definitely. He encourages us to read business articles just to try and understand how business as a whole works uh, so that we can reference things and make us um, more knowledgeable in general. It's really good. We um, also do a lot of like calculations as well and I think sometimes that's really interesting because that also helps you put it into context because I think often much of like the finance side of businesses is so unknown and I think it helps you get a picture of what it's actually like. I think I think business as a whole it, it's so relevant in today's society that the skill, like the skills that you learn you can take forward so you learn things about taxes insurance mm. all the aspects of life that other subjects you don't really gain from and that's kind of lost in our curriculum nowadays so I think that's kind of the biggest skills that you can take forward and you learn about mortgages loans things like that that you can just use in everyday life so I think they're the best skills and then Obviously, you're learning your essay writing skills and how to answer your questions right in exams so that you can get the best grade that you can. Like They're the main written skills that you gain, but I think life skills is kind of the biggest thing. I also think it helps us understand the news a bit better. So understand how Brexit actually affects businesses and the effects on the economy. I never understood the economy until I did business a level <laughs> it was really helpful and things like when you hear like businesses like bhs went into a liquidation you yeah. suddenly know what that means so when you're reading it you're like oh i get yeah. that now yeah so i just think it's so relevant yeah yeah and i think it often gives you a lot more confidence because a lot of the time it is seen as like more basic stuff within life as a yeah. whole but by doing it, it just give you more confidence and i think especially when you get older and you end up having to go to meetings and communicate with others i think it is important for that yeah. Um, business offers so many opportunities. Um, I you can go to uni. There's so many apprenticeships. And there's so many other routes. Um, I'm personally hoping to do a finance apprenticeship with JP Morgan, and I know you're hoping to. I'm gonna join the RAF, which is under personnel support, but you actually get a diploma in business administration. So it's another form of apprenticeship, really. But it's just. There's a lot of routes that I think people forget about, like apprenticeships, like people always mm. think, oh, uni, and that's all you can do. Whereas I think, especially with that with business, because they think it's quite kind of theory based, but actually you can go off and it's useful in so many different careers that you want to do.